Hello, my name is Daniel Sofner. I'm a senior technical architect in MuleSoft's customer success organization. And in today's Friends of Max video, I would like to show you how you can connect MuleSoft's AnyPoint platform to a new or existing AWS Transit Gateway in order to create a truly global application network. Let's get started. First of all, let's talk about VPCs or virtual private clouds. A VPC is a dedicated space in CloudHub specifically designed for an organization to deploy their Mule applications. When you deploy a Mule application in CloudUp, it is essentially deployed on workers running inside of that VPC. So what advantages does a VPC provide? First of all, an organization can control what internal or external resources can access Mule applications running inside of that VPC. And secondly, an organization can connect their CloudUp VPC to other AWS VPCs or to an on-premise network. So far, there were three ways available to achieve this. First one are VPN connections. This is essentially a connection between a virtual private gateway running in the cloud of VPC and a customer gateway running in an on-premise network. The second option is direct connect. This acts as a router between your cloud of VPC and an on-premise network. And for those organizations that already have AWS infrastructure in place, they can use VPC peering to connect existing AWS VPCs to a cloud of VPC. Now, you may see the challenges with these approaches. They all look a little bit point to point. And also only one of them the VPN connections are essentially self-serve. Whereas with Direct Connect and VPC peering, organizations would have to involve mules of technical support to get these enabled. Now in 2018, AWS released the Transit Gateway. This is a central network transit hub to connect VPCs with each other and to an on-premise network. It reduces network complexity by putting an end to complex peering relationships. Transit gateways also act as single cloud routers. Each new connection to it is only made once. It is a single network object managed by AWS. It is highly available and scalable. And what's really important in the context of CloudHub is that a transit gateway is always aligned to a specific region. But by connecting different transit gateways together, you can essentially allow peering between different regions and create a truly global network of applications. So in mid-2021, MuleSoft released support for the AWS transit gateway. Organizations can now connect their cloud of VPCs to an existing AWS Transit Gateway. It is fully self-serve, so organizations can set up network connections to their environments without filing a single ticket with MuleSoft support. It simplifies connectivity. So with one connection, an organization is able to provide access to their on-premise and cloud resources. And organizations can now scale more quickly. Transit Gateway is actually AWS's recommended approach for handling network connectivity at scale. So what does that look like architecturally? You can see here in this diagram on the left-hand side, a cloud of VPC running in a specific AWS region Let's call it the blue region. And through a VPC attachment, an organization can now connect that cloud of VPC to a transit gateway running in the same blue AWS region. 
and the applications and APIs running in CloudUp now can access the data residing in that blue AWS region as well. Now, if a company or an organization were to create a global network of applications, they could also connect the Cloud Hub VPC running in the blue AWS region to a transit gateway running in the same blue AWS region. But because the two transit gateways, one running in the blue region and one running in, let's say, green regions are also connected, the Cloud Hub VPC and the applications running in that VPC can now access applications and data running in the green AWS region as well. Now enough about theory and, and architecture, let's look at the demo. And what I would like to demonstrate is how easy it is to connect a Cloud Hub VPC to an existing AWS Transit Gateway through simple self-service mechanisms. So the first thing we need to do is to create a transit gateway in AWS in the Sydney region. You click on Create Transit Gateway, you provide a name, Mule TGW, you leave all of the default values, and you click on Create Transit Gateway. Now this will take a couple of seconds, and you have to wait until the state goes from pending to available. Now you have a transit gateway in the Sydney region in your AWS account. The next thing you need to do is go back to the AnyPoint platform and create a VPC. You provide a name. It has to be in the same region as the AWS transit gateway in Sydney. You provide CIDA block range, the environment, business groups, and then you click on create VPC. You wait until the VPC is created in any point. So before we connect our AWS Transit Gateway to our Cloud Hub VPC, we need to check on our entitlements. You go to Access Management and check network connections that you can use either for a VPN connection or a Transit Gateway connection. We have one available right now. So now you go back to Runtime Manager, you click on the new menu point, Transit Gateways. Here you can add an existing AWS Transit Gateway. Click on the blue link. It will tell you that you need to have access to your corporate AWS account with ownership of an existing Transit Gateway. That's the one that we created earlier. Click on I'm ready. You provide a name for your Transit Gateway in Cloud Hub, you select the region. It has to be the same region as your AWS Transit Gateway, namely Sydney. Next, you create a resource share in AWS. A resource share helps you securely share the AWS resources that you create in one AWS account to other AWS accounts. In the Create Resource Share dialog, provide a name, select the resource type namely Transit Gateways, and then select the Transit Gateway that we created earlier in AWS. Next, you have to add the MuleSoft AWS Account ID as a principal. You can get that ID in the AnyPoint dialog under the third point. Just copy the Account ID and paste it into the principal's dialog in AWS. Now, the MuleSoft AWS account ID has been added as a principal. Leave the rest as is and click on Create Resource Share. The resource share will be created almost immediately and will appear as active. Next, we have to connect the AWS Transit Gateway to the AnyPoint platform. In AnyPoint, click on Next in the existing dialog, and now we have to copy the resource share ID and owner ID from the resource share 
to the AnyPoint platform. So go back to AWS and copy the resource share ID and paste it in the AnyPoint dialog. And you do the same thing with the owner ID of the resource share. You copy it and you go back to any point to paste it into the dialog. Then click on add. Now, what will happen now is the any point platform will connect with AWS to add your transit gateway. This can take up to a minute. Once that is done, you will get a message that the transit gateway has been added and you will be able to see the details of your AWS transit gateway in your AnyPoint account. Next, we have to attach the VPC we created earlier so its apps can access the transit gateway. You do that by clicking on Attach VPC and you select the VPC to attach to the AWS Transit Gateway. Again, to continue, we need access to the corporate AWS account. Click on Next. And now the process will create a new Transit Gateway attachment in AWS that we will have to accept first before the two are connected. So switch over again to AWS and to the Transit Gateway Attachments console, and you will see that there is a new attachment that has been created, which is in the state of pending acceptance. Now, before we accept it, it is very important to confirm that the resource owner ID is actually corresponding to the MuleSoft AWS account ID. So it starts with 494 and ends with 463. So if we switch over again to any point, we can confirm that the account ID is correct. It starts with 494 and ends with 463. We go back to the Transit Gateway Attachments page. We select the new attachment and in Actions, we click on Accept Transit Gateway Attachment. We confirm the dialog. And now it will take a few seconds until the new attachment that points to our Cloud of VPC appears as available. You can go ahead now and rename that attachment so it becomes clear that it's the Cloud of VPC that is now connecting to our transit gateway. So we're almost there. You were able to see we had to do a bit of a song and dance between the AWS console and the AnyPoint console to get there. Now what you do is you switch over to AnyPoint, you click on Done in the final dialog, and it will take about a minute or so until the Cloud of VPC is attached to the AWS Transit Gateway. So grab a coffee, do a couple of refreshes, and after a short while, you will see that the Cloud of VPC is successfully attached to a transit gateway sitting in another AWS account. Now, as a last step, we want to test the connectivity between our Cloud of VPC and one of our AWS VPCs. In order to achieve that, we copy the private IP address of one of the EC2 instances running in that AWS VPC to the clipboard. And then we switch over to a network tool that runs inside of our Cloud Hub VPC. And we test a ping against the private IP address of the EC2 instance. Now we've configured the security groups and the route tables on the AWS side but not yet on the Cloud Hub Transit Gateway side. So therefore, that ping should result in a failure and a 100% packet loss. So how do we resolve this? We go back to our Runtime Manager and we add a route to the IPv4 CIDR block of 
the subnet on the AWS VPC side. That is 10.16.00 slash 16. We click on add route. Now that route has been added to the transit gateway configuration in Runtime Manager. So now we go back to our network connectivity tool and we just repeat the ping. And because we've now got route tables configured on both CloudUp and AWS, that ping succeeds and we've successfully established connectivity between our CloudUp VPC and our AWS VPCs via the transit gateway. Hopefully you found this Friends of Max video interesting. And now you can create a truly global application network by integrating MuleSoft's AnyPoint platform with your existing AWS infrastructure. Thank you for watching.